By this point, we mostly know what we're getting with Apple announcements. A dash of groundbreaking here, a pinch of vaguely trash can shaped thing there, and maybe a sprinkling of new software to tie the whole thing together. And that's exactly what we got at the June 2017 Apple event with our first look at iOS 11. And although Apple didn't announce a new iPhone to go along with it, there is a bevy of new features in iOS 11 that might make your existing device feel like it's on the bleeding edge yet again. First off, iOS's navigation features will get a huge facelift. Apple Maps has been expanded with detailed floor plans for large facilities like airports and shopping malls. And if you're a driver, you'll see speed limits and even get a do not disturb while driving feature that will disable all notifications when the iPhone thinks you're behind the wheel. Useful for avoiding getting a ticket and giving even more money to the local government. While we're on the subject of bad ideas while driving, you can now enter special characters with a flick instead of entirely changing keyboards while texting. And on the iPhone, Apple took note of one of their competitors' key phablet features. You can now enable a special one-handed keyboard that will push the buttons to one side if your other hand is uh, occupied. But while that will undoubtedly be useful, a feature that's already proven to be a little more divisive is the overhauled control center. Instead of being a smaller menu with fixed items, the control center now takes up the entire screen and is totally customizable, meaning that you can re-widget to your heart's content. Though some people have commented the design seems a bit more cumbersome. Of course, modern day customizability doesn't come without a fair amount of data collection. Machine learning will now help your device automatically characterize what's happening in a particular photo to sort them into albums, and Siri will begin to suggest custom searches and even play songs based on past habits, which you might consider either super convenient or super unnerving. Either way, Siri is also getting her voice overhauled, so maybe that'll distract you from the big new warehouse Apple is building to store all of the dirt they have on you. And your iDevice won't just be keeping track of your searches. There's also an option that will automatically delete apps you haven't used in a while in order to free up space, which could come in handy since there's still no expandable storage option for iPhone or iPad. Do note though, it'll hold onto the app data in case you change your mind and reinstall later. Speaking of regrets, iOS 11 also offers you some exciting new ways to part with your money. With Apple Pay integration with iMessage, so you can make payments via text and a redesigned app store with a greater emphasis on screen filling images and easily accessible video previews of the apps on offer. Then, once you're done installing apps and it's time to consume some music or video, you'll be glad to know that not only can the new AirPlay 2 control speakers in different rooms individually, but the volume display won't hog the freaking middle of the screen anymore. Yes! Anyway, if you're on an iPad, there are also enhanced multitasking options, such as the ability to drag an app from the dock at the bottom of the screen to open it in split view, as well as to drag data between split screened apps. If you've dropped even more dollar bills on an Apple Pencil, you can now mark up PDFs and even take notes directly from the lock screen if you find yourself in a hurry to scribble something important down or if your jackass friend with a better iPad than you left it lying around and you're feeling particularly bitter in that moment. iOS will be coming to iPhone 5S and newer, iPhone 5C users are out of luck, iPad mini 2 and newer this fall, and you can even get it if you're using a sixth generation iPod touch. Do iPods still exist? Really? Wow, neat. Racing against the clock as a freelancer or small business owner? 
It's challenging, this is true, but with the growth of the internet, there's never been more opportunities for the self-employed. And to meet this need, FreshBooks created their cloud accounting software, which is designed for the way that you work. It's the simplest and easiest way to be more productive, more organized, and most importantly, get paid faster. Create and send professional looking invoices in less than 30 seconds, set up online payments with just a couple clicks and get paid up to four days faster, see when you're client has seen your invoice to put an end to the guessing games and take the whole experience with you on Android or iOS with the full functionality of the platform on your mobile device in your pocket. FreshBooks is offering a 30-day unrestricted free trial to our viewers, so to claim it, just go to freshbooks.com slash techquickie linked below and enter techquickie in the how did you hear about us section. So thanks for watching guys, like, dislike, check out our other channels, leave a comment with video suggestions, and don't forget to subscribe.